hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video i have a tutorial for you guys now during my valentine's day series i had these little flowers or i think i just showed them on instagram i'm not sure but i posted them on instagram or showed them on a video and a lot of you guys requested for me to do a tutorial on them so i forgot to do it for valentine's day but i won't forget to do it for spring which is perfect you guys because spring flowers and I got rid of the Valentine's Day one because it was a bunch of red and stuff like that. So I made a new one and I'm going to be making some with you guys today so that you guys can see how easy this is. And the thing with this is that I use little, um, what do you call these? Like little lollipop sticks so you can put them inside your loaded envelopes and they just look pretty. They pop out really nice. I picked out these colors because they do look kind of springish. Can you guys believe I do not have um easter or spring cupcake liners like seriously we need to go back to michael's and the dollar store and get that going because this is all i felt i had that was kind of springy but i kind of like the way it turned out what do you guys think and i think it's super cute and they don't have to be this big you can make them smaller so we're gonna make one together and these are the only items that you're gonna need so it's gonna be super quick and easy and you can have like a ton of flowers in no time so all you need is some popsicle sticks you can either use I have a scallop punch so I have this little circle scallop punch but you can use a regular circle and it's just to kind of like finish it in the back just because I feel like it looks unfinished if I don't have this little piece right here with just the stick there you know so I just put that there because I kind of like the finished look of it but you don't have to do that so I have those there and then I, of course I have my cupcake liners. I have a green one, a yellow one, polka dot. This is just like a little yellow decor and a purple one. And some scissors and a stapler. And of course, you need some pom poms. So I have a variety. I have these from like Valentine's Day. I have these. And then I also have these that they had at um target for valentine's day and then i also have some other pom-poms here like this little kit came from dollar tree and you make like these little bunnies but you guys those little bunnies were such a pain in the neck to make i only made one so i don't know if i'm going to be using those bunnies i think i'll just stick to using a little puff ball in the middle which i think looks cuter anyway so let's get on with making our flowers so you pick your colors out in the the way you want them to be laid out so since i already did the green on this one i think i'm gonna do yellow as my outer so you grab your cupcake liner and you're gonna fold it in half kind of like a taco and i'm gonna bring my focus up so you guys can clearly see what i'm doing Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half like a taco and then you're going to fold it again and then you're going to fold it again. Okay, and since this is going to be our biggest flower, which is the green one from over here, you're going to want to cut this one higher up. So we're going to start cutting up and then we're just going to start bringing it down as we do the cupcake liner so that it can get smaller and smaller. So... I'm gonna cut about what let's say like that much and you're gonna try to go around in a circle just like that it doesn't have to be perfect you guys see that and that's gonna be your first little flower we're gonna leave that right there and then we're gonna pick out a color for the next one so I'm thinking maybe I'll do the blue one as my next color okay Let's take out the cupcake liner. And you're going to do the same technique over again. You're going to fold it over just until you get it kind of like a triangle. And then you can go a little bit lower down, so almost like half an inch. And just the same thing. Just try to go as round as you can. So that's our next piece. And now we're going down to the next one. I think I'll do purple. 
and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that all right again same way so basically the technique is kind of sort of repetitive but you know you get the idea so you go round again and then the last one I'm gonna do the colorful polka dots and what you're gonna do is you're gonna once again do the same technique fold it down but this one you're gonna do it a little bit extra smaller because it's your smallest like rosette so that's what this one looks like it's the little inside one and I think I made that one a little bit smaller than this one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our flowers and this is what it should look like so we have this one and then the next one that we did was the green one so it should be like the next size up which is gonna go in the middle and then we did the purple and that's gonna go right here actually I feel like the purple is a little bit bigger so we should put it there and then the little baby one goes right here I feel like we could have made the purple one a little bit more small so just go back and go back to your fold and just cut off a little bit more it's that simple you guys if you see that it's not evening out to where you have your layers going I might even want to cut this one too you can always go back to your little triangle fold and just cut a little bit more off it's that simple it's not like the project is donezo if you don't have them lined up when you first put them down see so now I have my layers the way I want them actually gonna make the purple one a little bit smaller and we're gonna bring it like that yes okay so so far we have our layers see how that's coming out and then we have this one in the middle so you line them up on top of each other and once you center them the way you want to center them see how that is you're gonna grab your stapler and you're gonna staple it in the center right there and then you have it like that so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to start scrunching your flowers so you grab the first one and you scrunch it a little bit hopefully I'm in frame there you go and you start scrunching with your hands just to give it that little you know little effect like a little curling effect and then you grab your pom-pom we're gonna do maybe like a little blue pom-pom for this one what do you think I think that looks cute right so we're just gonna add some hot glue to that okay I'm gonna add some hot glue And there's our little flower you guys so now you grab your little popsicle stick add some glue to the top that's where you're gonna have your glue like right there just place it right in the center and you see what I mean you can leave it like this but I don't like it like that so you just make sure that everything is glued down luckily hot glue dries pretty fast then you're gonna grab your stick again and you're gonna add some glue and that's where I'm gonna add the little scallop circle just to kind of give it that little finishing look and it looks prettier in the back you see but here you guys how easy was that and then you can add them to your loaded bags you can add them anywhere you can wrap them up real pretty in a package and send them to a pen pal but yeah you guys that's how I make these super cute little spring flowers I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial 
if you guys want to add these little bunnies from the dollar tree you can do that and that'll look cute too it just wasn't my cup of tea but you can do that as well but that's my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed if you do create any flowers i have my instagram down below just tag me on a picture i will be sure to comment and um yeah don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when i upload a new video and i will catch you guys on the next one bye